Next up, we've got Cam Aries who asks, have you spent any time around Bruno San Martino? I'm actually wearing a Bruno shirt today. No, I, I haven't, but I was very, very impressed with Bruno San Martino. I, uh, when I was a young kid and uh, coming into the WWF, he was still working. So I was in the dressing room with him. But of course, even then, he was a kind of on a pedestal and I was Brony Joe sitting in the back corner with my mouth shut and just uh, observing uh, Bruno. But then later on, and, and when he came back, and uh, the most interaction I ever had with him, there's a, a popular picture that Deborah actually took of everybody backstage. It was Bruno and DiBiase and me and Nikolai, and oh, we're all sitting around talking. And uh, that's one of the times I really listened to Bruno. And uh, he had quite a story, you know, he came out of Italy and he had, he had to hide from the Nazis. I mean, holy smokes. <laughs> Puts everything in perspective, you know, you're like, I had a bad day. You know, I was hiding from the Nazis. <laughs> and then he comes to America and becomes one of the most popular athletes on the face of the planet. Just On incredible. the face of the planet, man. And, and what a physical specimen. Even, uh, you know, and he stayed straight the whole time. He was a clean cut, all American kind of guy. He he lived the role. He, he was a stereotype kind of guy, and that's why he was such a great champion. 